It's 2019. How about 2018? What did we get wrong? What did we do right? Where were our numbers correct in terms of our long-term forecasts? And also, what are the recent developments? We're going to be talking about VW. We're going to be talking a little bit about Tesla, always news about Tesla, and some major announcements in stationary storage. Hey, welcome to Batteries in 5, the five minute roundup of weekly news in the battery and energy storage space. Let me start talking about major announcements in the stationary storage space in the last few weeks. First of all, Moss Landing, Pacific Gas and Electric's very large project, which turns out it's going to be somewhere between 1.2 and 1.6 gigawatt hours. That's an enormous project, but will be definitely the largest single project ever produced. Tesla's going to get a large part of it. We're not sure exactly how much. There's three different vendors that will, that will be putting the batteries in. And it's interesting because PG&E has a, uh, a big liability problem. They started some of the fires with their wires out in the, the, the distant uh, rural areas of, this, of the Bay Area. And they have billions of dollars of liability. How are they going to emerge from that one way? is to head towards the future, do things like energy storage, like bigger renewable projects. So it's a really interesting case study and maybe a forerunner to how other utilities will behave. Another a really important project that was just announced was a 720 megawatt hour system that's gonna be produced in the Jiangsu province of China. That's in the Northwest. Again, solving that big problem a lot of renewables, wind and solar in the, in the west of China, all the population in the east, and really bad transmission lines in between. How do you do that? You place enormous amounts of storage on the side where the renewables are, allows you to spread more across transmission. That's the fundamental problem that needs to be solved in storage in China. And for the first time, we've got a large project, not as big as Moss Landing, but maybe more significant because it shows that China is starting to put some skin in the game in these huge projects. The other big development that I think is worthy of note is Volkswagen. Volkswagen is the largest car manufacturer. They have made a true 180 turn. Now you've heard this before. The executives have made lots of noises. Yeah, we're gonna do this, EVs are everything, but then they just make little tiny drips and drabs towards moving to an EV future. That's changed. We've had multiple interactions with the Volkswagen executives and people that work there and lots of new hires, whole departments being created on the resources side, on the battery manufacturing side, and on the car side itself. And I'm not just talking about the ID, the new car that's coming out next year. This is going to be tens, if not dozens, of mo new car models launched in the 2022 to 2025 timeframe. They are serious about this. And as the leading car manufacturer, that's important. They're gonna, they're gonna set the trend for everybody else. One other piece of news that I think is interesting is down to Tesla. Tesla just announced their production numbers. They were lower than expected. The stock price went down by 8% in a day. What's going on? So if you read the financial news, it's about, oh, they're still having production problems. I don't think that's the issue. The issue is that there's concern or anxiety about what the true market demand for the uh, Model 3 is. So the Model 3 has launched, they're making 5,000 a week. That's great, but they said they eventually want to get up to 10,000 a week. Really the question though is, now that they've filled those 200,000 or so initial orders, how much demand is there going to be going forward for the car? And is that going to be the limiting factor on Tesla's growth? Uh, I'm Sam Jaffe, Managing Director of Cairn Era. And I hope to see you guys at uh, the Bank of America conference on January 15th in New York City. Um, I'll also be at the Micro Mobility Summit in San Francisco, which is on January 31st. And that's my new passion, my new uh, obsessive uh, thing about batteries, batteries for scooters, for bikes, and so on for the urban environment. Really big markets starting to show up. Thanks and see you next week.